it was a simple st simple starting up screen for a very big game franchise so let's just start it already it's so just a simple ga game screen no intro or anything except this so let's just tr try to see how far I can I get in Castlevania the first one and this song the vampire killer has become very very famous, almost emblematic to the series, and introducing Simon Belmont, the first vampire hunter of the Belmont family. Armed with a whip, and armed with a whip, and armed and equally armed to the tip with a bad attitude. And of course, later this whip would be called the Vampire Killer, just like the song. But the hey, basic plot is still is still the same. Simon Belmont is heading to uh, to Castlevania to kill Dracula. That's the plot. And he's got all kinds of mystical magical tools in his disposal in addition to Vampire Killer Whip itself. And with this game, it was a quite actually big change when this game came along because Nintendo had a very quite had followed quite strict policy of, about non-violent to quite harmless uh, fa fa family friendly image and Castlevania well it re really isn't following that kind of style it's actually goes uh, takes its inspiration from, go from ho gothic horror or ho horror romantics with all the zombies vampires and all that kind of things but gameplay is still simple you walk around you have this quite clunky jumping physics at least for a platforming game and 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 you just go go around kill bosses there's six stages in total and they all happen inside Castlevania yeah and as much as it can be seen about, well, mostly because of Konami itself, Castlevania franchise is in a quite bad state. And I'm not really much of an expert of this game. You, of course, I can whip, we can, they can, I can whip stuff to hurt, hurt things. And the first boss, Vampire Bat. It, it dives at me. And there's a boss music. Nothing really, but it already was blasted out. And once I get, and once I have gone through the stage, I can get a some sort of emblem. Time goes down because hey, you know it's the arcade stage, arcade legacy. Or my hearts, which use sub weapons, have been will be counted down as well, and life will be filled. And with a map screen. To the second stage. And uh, and what and, we, and this is one of the most you could say famous weapons of Castlevania. The the, the, the cross. And m these songs are also very famous. Castlevania series is known from uh, known from its great music and also from brutal difficulty. And this game certainly is not holding pu pulling pulling these punches when it's a matter of difficulty. Even, even, I've already taken a few hits even though that quite I'm quite accustomed to. Oh say hello to the Medusa heads. The mo one of the most infamous and unpleasant creatures of Castlevania series. They, they have this wonky pattern they fly at and they just love to murder you. Especially in places like this where there's very little platform. And because of this, there's a huge... Simon Belmont has a huge knockback. So yeah. Already second stage and there's very little games already not, not giving any, you could say, mercy. So I don't, I'm not expecting to get through this game, but I want to see how far I can actually get get this. Oh yeah, 
Ah, shit. Again, my mistake. Oh no, of course Simon can up upgrade his whip for more better maneuvers. And of course this game gave a lot of... Bir well, it gave birth to many iconic Castlevania monstrosities in it. Like... Like... Fuck, Medusa heads. Can't talk. And of course, the, I think the world record speed run is something like... Uh, 11 to 12 minutes in total. Oh yeah, just lobbering, lobbering around through trying to get... Oh yeah, got through that. Oh yeah, candles, very important in Castlevania. And these armored dudes, uh, uh, generally, you could say that uh, when the game when the game was made, they really didn't get, get much idea about how the enemies' names. They would just that let's let's put Medusa heads in here and so, then some. Oh yeah, well, the stopwatch that should help me. Ah uh, yeah, now they're coming, but there's no more pits for me to drop, so I can e easily just get through this. Uh, well, my last one. And the stage counter is quite interesting. It just counts at all the little f these little faces of the of levels that you're going through, not just the basic levels. All right, that one's just going little smacks. So duck, and then that one goes up all the way. And I'm quite a, quite certain to. I don't think it's wrong to assume that the crushers are instant death. Fire pillars. That's a very familiar sound, that little thunking sound. Well, it's really strange that they, when you actually look at the long history of Castlevania franchise and, and game series, Simon Belmont has been in, in, mo in the biggest number of games, yet he's gotten, you could say, the least amount of characterization out of all the I was gonna say, he doesn't appear to have get gotten so much char characterization in general sense. He's just a... Just a vampire killer. And a second boss, the Medusa. AKA Snakehead bouncing around. And if I would have had something... A su decent sub weapon. Actually... Oh, that was unexpected. The clock worked. I would assume that the clock didn't work didn't really remember that. But it went down and there was even a dramatic scene of head being rem head crashing. And of course every 30,000 points you get an extra life. Which you do need. And another third stage. And if it wasn't already clear... Have to say hello to another... F many things which are which Castlevania series is famous slash infamous uh, have made well they made debuts here already which includes of course the hunchbacks bone to bone towers medusa heads so and of course r r running walking jumping skeletons birds bats they are all murders and uh, it is more recommended that I just stood at the stairs taking the hits rather than getting off from them and, and then just being killed horribly by falling into the pits. And uh, of course money bags, they give you points, points give you extra lives, quite handy. Nothing groundbreaking, but still really useful. Just walking through it. Avoiding Medusa heads by b with bold walks forward. Damn it, there's many of them. 
and of course Simon when he gets hit he makes this real goofy sound goofy sound of Oof. I don't know how he's gonna get that sound but and bird yeah it doesn't matter that way you hit by a some sort of horrifying fireball or by a or by a small bird they all hurt you about as badly so that was lucky oh yeah so there is simple idea don't get hit at all and this is some sort of almost water stage or bridge stage i don't i don't not so much really caused and, and later castlevanias would make this bridge of course collapse meaning that you would have to dash forward avoiding birds and that's the regular death Simon can suffer. So let's just see how far I get. Platforming in this game is more or less a case of infer hell. And of course the biggest source of difficulty in this game is of course the enemy placement of them being attacking right towards you. But that Back, little background element is known as the keep where Dracula is usually usually hides and wall meat that's a staple in Castlevania series you need to eat wall meat and third boss is the mummies they shoot their wrappings at you and there's two of them but you can get both, hit them both at the same time. And, I, and if I would have had a sub, decent sub weapon, I would have crushed them quite nicely. I got to the halfway. I don't think I'm gonna get through the stage four, but I'm just gonna push as far as I can. Yeah, the map doesn't really tell you much. Except now I'm dropping down. You could call it maybe cat maybe it's catacombs or something like that. Oh, and that's it. Bat fucking killed me. Well, that was Castlevania One, beginning of very infamous franchise. Nothing more, nothing, nothing less. And a, I'd say a franchise which has really good games in it as well. So, see you. Maybe later. Maybe not. Whatever. See you later.